Good morning. It is May 8th. We are finishing up the third week of our five-week challenge here. I weighed in this morning at 142, so we're still losing, so that is good. Slowly but surely, um, but I'm going to take it. I am going to take it. Um, I have been trying to figure out how to grow my coaching during this global pandemic. I, uh, I'm sitting at home and uh, I have a lot of free time on my hands and no particular place I can go. So I've been trying to figure out how to um, meet new people, get new clients. I did just start a new client this week. She's doing amazing. She's already down six pounds in this first week. Um, so it's so exciting to get a new client. It really it really just motivates me to do better, and I love helping people on this program. Um, the program did just extend their amazing deal, so they took $90 off of the price of the program for your first month. So if you've never tried the program, or it's been over a year since you tried the program, this is an amazing deal. You should really get in on this. Um, so th that's kind of it. Uh, I, uh, I got my chocolate coffee shake to kick the day off. I do better when I make the videos. So, we're going to have a what I eat in the day video. I'm going to try to come up with some fun and interesting fuelings today. All right. All right, time for fueling two. So I am making the chocolate chip cookie into a waffle. So again, a fourth a cup of water, fourth a cup of egg beaters, and then I'm gonna mix up this PB2 with cocoa. I'm gonna put two tablespoons in the bowl. So this will be my optional snack for the day. So one, two, and then I'm gonna put two tablespoons of water in here and I'm gonna turn it into a dipping sauce. Um, if you do less water, it makes like a delicious frosting, but if I make it into a dipping sauce, I can use it for this fueling and dip the chocolate chip cookie in it. And then uh, later on today, I can use the rest of it and dip something else in it. So that's exciting. Um, so we're just gonna add the water. Mm -hmm. All right, I got a cool new spatula Whew. from the dollar store. It is amazing if you have a good dollar store near you, which you can find in there. Um, and so this is cute because all of the fuelings, you need kind of the tiniest spatula ever to make sure you get all of the goodness. Oh, this is delicious. Okay. So I like the PB2 with the cocoa, but you could do this with the regular PB2 as well. And you just get this thick, delicious peanut butter chocolate sauce. Yum. All right, let me go finish this waffle. All right, here it is my chocolate chip cookie as a waffle and we're going to dip it into that pb2 sauce all right so look at that that's amazing mm. this does not taste like diet food you cannot be sad eating chocolate chip waffle dipped in chocolate peanut butter sauce. So if you are trying to give yourself a treat right on plan, this is a great way to go. I think we're going to have waffle day, so <clears throat> stay tuned. All right, it's time for fueling three. I am going to try to turn the rustic tomato herb penne into a waffle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put it into the little Nutribullet cup. Now I like this as pasta, just fine. It's okay, it's a pretty good one. Um, 
just thought we'd switch things up today and see what kind of waffle this makes. I don't think I've ever waffled it. Huh. I hope it comes out good. Uh, you use the Nutribullet attachment that looks like this. And I won't make you listen to it, but I'm going to grind it up. So hold on. All right, so I ground it all up. I'm going to put it in my bowl with a fourth of a cup of water. And yep, you guessed it, a fourth of a cup of egg beaters. Now I know we're going to have waffle day, and I know that's going to be quite a few fourths of a cup of egg beaters. Um, I probably am going to need to count that as part of my lean. Um, so we'll just keep that in mind. All right, so while my waffle is cooking, I'm just going to refill my water cup. Um, I've been sort of spiking it with Crystal Light. So I'm trying not to drink whole cups of Crystal Light. Um, but if you do just add a little splash so I have the peach iced tea crystal light, or my favorite is the fruit punch. So I just added a little bit of that in there. And then I just fill the rest of the cup with water. I know months ago I would have thought this was gross because it's like way watered down crystal light. But now I'm like, oh, hey, it's a little less boring than water. Um... The other thing I was going to say was I went for my walk this morning and I swear it was a good three miles. So I should have about 6,000 steps right now, but I forgot my Fitbit. So that's zero steps. If you forgot your Fitbit, did you even walk? Um, no, of course I did. Um, so that's the other thing about the added egg whites into the waffles. If I make my step count for the day, I normally don't worry too much about a little extra protein. Um, for those of you just starting off that are maybe a little more strict on the five in one, um, you know, you just figure out where you're at in your program. All right, I think my waffle is almost done. I'm gonna go check that out and then show it to you. Alrighty, here's what it looks like coming out of the waffle maker. It smells delicious. All right, give us a try. Hmm. I love how crispy these are. And they have so much flavor. I don't feel like I need to add the cream cheese or put anything on top of them. So if you are not a huge fan of the mac and cheese, the pesto mac and cheese, um, or the penne pasta, they do make excellent waffles. Even if you are a fan, but you've been on program for a while, it's a nice change of pace. You might want to give it a try. All right, well, today did not go as planned. So I had my delicious penne waffle, um, and that was great. And then I was sitting uh, watching TV, and I was like, I'm starving. Probably not a true statement. Probably I'm bored is a more accurate statement. But anyways, I decided I could have a carrot with a little bit of blue cheese dressing, which turned into two, which turned into four. Yeah. So there were four large carrots with blue cheese dressing. And I was like, what are you doing? But I sort of, you know, justified it in my head because, you know, the fourth carrot was the last one in the bag. And now I won't do it again. Right. Um, and it wasn't my fault that I bought the carrots. They're just so, you know, stable in the fridge. And during this pandemic, making sure I have vegetables, even though we both know you are not supposed to eat carrots on the five in one. I will normally put them in a recipe if it's just a little bit in a recipe here or there, but not eat four carrots. No, no. All right, so that's the damage that has been done today. So, now, none of this is Optavia approved, okay? I'm just a person with a YouTube channel. I've had a lot of great success on the five-in-one. I normally do the program very well. Today is not that. So here's what I decided to count that as. So I was gonna have taco with like uh, cauliflower rice for dinner. That was gonna be very exciting. I'm really not that hungry right now due to my carrot binge. Um, so I decided the carrots were going to be, uh, fueling for my green for dinner tonight, 
my optional fat, which means for dinner tonight, I gotta go find some protein that is the leanest protein. So I just uh, defrosted a bunch of shrimp. And so tonight for dinner, we're just gonna have a bunch of shrimp. And then um, we're gonna, you know, chalk that up as a live and learn. And I'm out of carrots and I probably won't go food shopping for another two weeks. So we should be safe from the carrots for a while. <laughs> It's amazing what you choose to binge on. Um, if you have had weight issues for your whole life, um, it is such an easy slip to make that you just enjoy eating. Yeah. Um, anyways, I'm not gonna beat myself up on it any further. I'm gonna make myself a little bit of shrimp with some Pam in the, in the pan. Uh, count the salad dressing as my optional fat. Uh, my carrots as my greens, my carrots is feeling four, and we're gonna move forward, right? So this will be our lean and green, and then for the sixth fueling, this is the best part of the story, we'll be back on track in Reenland, and I still get to make myself a brownie waffle and dip it in the rest of the PB2 sauce. So life is not bad. We are gonna get past this obstacle, um, and hey, I'm a real person, I make mistakes, and today I happen to make a mistake on video day. Normally, the fact that it's video day just makes me stick to program that much better. But this quarantine, man, it even, it even broke video day motivation. All right, I'm gonna get right back on track right now and cook some shrimp. All right, you gotta love cooking shrimp. Here I am, three minutes later, it's all done. Again, I'm not starving. Four giant carrots when you haven't had carrots in a long time is very filling. Um, so this is gonna be my lean and green. And then I got a mocktail here. So I threw a little bit of crystal light fruit punch and a little bit of the polar salsa that's cranberry lime, which is slightly reminiscent of a Cosmo. So there you go. We had a little stumble, we're bouncing back. Now we're back on track, okay. Alrighty, here is fueling six. So I took the brownie with the Greek yogurt chips and I turned it into a waffle. And then this is the rest of the PB2 with cocoa dipping sauce from this afternoon. You do not get to make more of that. That is your one optional snack. So this is how we're gonna end the day. All right, we're gonna dip our our brownie waffle into our peanut butter sauce. Mm. Now, now we're back on program. All right, wasn't a perfect day, but we did the best we could and we'll try again tomorrow. Thanks for watching.